So today we're going to be checking out a couple different fragrances from Cremo, which is a brand that does like shaving products and they also have a line of fragrances. We have bourbon and oak and we also have silver, water, and birch. So I'm going to do this video a little bit different than normal. I'm going to go ahead and give you my first impressions of these now and then in a couple days I'm going to come back and update you guys with a full on fragrance review because I'm going to need a few days to try these and wear them but I also want to give you my first impression so I'm kind of going to cram it all into one video. So let's go and crack both of these open and check them out. We're going to start off with bourbon and oak. So I looked through their line of fragrances and a number of them caught my eye, but I have seen a lot of positive reviews about these two. And I've been wanting to try Silver Water and Birch for a really long time. So taking the cellophane off and we'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here is the bottle of bourbon and oak. Pretty cool looking. You can see you have bourbon and oak eau de toilette. And then on the sides you have cremo engraved into the bottle. As you can see, it's on both sides. The caps do slide into place. They don't click, but they do firmly stay in place. And while we're talking about this, I do want to thank Cremo for sending these out to me. Big thank you to the team over there for letting me try these out. Let's go ahead and do my first impression spray on bourbon and oak. I'm really excited to try this one. I think it's gonna be perfect for fall and winter. So let's see what we have really nice atomizers on these. Ooh, that's nice. Not a bad scent overall. It's spicy. It's very woody. It's got this alcohol, obviously, you know, like a bourbon touch to it. Really nice, really nice overall. If you look on their website, these are actually really affordable. So when it comes to affordable fragrances, you never know what you're going to get in terms of quality. But I can tell you right off the tester strip, it smells really nice. It doesn't come across smelling cheap or anything like that, which is nice. So looking at the side of the box, they have a note breakdown on the top. It says distiller's spice. It's kind of a tongue twister. The mid notes, we have bourbon and the base notes, we have white oak. So I got a nice simple note breakdown on the side. Overall, I like this one. It's going to be really nice for the fall and winter, and I'm looking forward to wearing it on my skin and testing it a bit more. So my girlfriend is sitting right back there, and what what do you rate this one really quick, just off first impressions? I rate it a 9. It's one of my like favorite types of scents for fall, and I'm not super big on fall scents, but this one is really, really nice. Cool. So she gave it a 9. She's into sweet masculine fragrances like that, so yeah, that works out good. Now we're going to go ahead and try out Silver Water and Birch. So let's open this one up and see how this one is. This is the one that I've been really wanting to try out because it does sound familiar to a fragrance from Creed, which I really love, Silver Mountain and Silver Mountain Water. I don't know if they are similar or not. Um, if we look at the notes on this one really quick, we have Iced Spring Water Accord, Oak Moss, and Sun Washed Woods. So let's open this up and we'll see what we have. I'm really excited to try this one out. Okay, so here's the bottle on this one. Pretty much the same as the last scent. You have the name on the front, engravings on the side. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely smells like Silver Mountain Water from Creed. That's what I get right away is like a Silver Mountain Water type of vibe. What I noticed from this is it doesn't have much of an inky smell like Silver Mountain Water has. So that's kind of a love or hate thing from Creed Silver Mountain Water. Some people like that ink type of note. Some people don't. I don't get quite as much of that from the scent, but it is very rev reminiscent of Silver Mountain Water. Very fresh, very invigorating, very uplifting. Not so much for the season that we're in right now. This is definitely more of a spring and summer scent. But it does resemble Silver Mountain Water a lot, which is really cool. So I really like this one as well. Really well done. Okay, so again, my girlfriend is sitting back there. And what do you think? Is it good? I rate this one maybe like a six and a half or seven. Um, it is really fresh, but not something that I would typically like on Dallas or really anybody. It's more of like cleaning and fresh and air freshener, but it is nice. It's very refreshing. Cool. So she gave it a decent rating. 
She's into the more masculine type of fragrances. To me, this does lean more unisex, this type of DNA anyway. So overall, still a solid rating. And again, I really like this one. Really, really close to Silver Mountain Water by Creed at a really affordable price. So that's pretty much it for these first impressions. I'm going to go ahead and come back in a few days after I've worn these and tested these more. And I'll dive into a full review, talk about performance and more of the note breakdown and when you can wear them and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care. All right, guys, so I'm back. It's been a few days. Now I'm ready to give you my full thoughts on these two fragrances. We have some exciting news. When they sent me these two fragrances to check out, they actually sent me two of each. So I've got silver water and birch here in the sealed 100 mil, and I've also got bourbon and oak again in the sealed 100 ml bottle so what that means for you guys is a giveaway i haven't done a giveaway on the channel in quite a while so i thought this was a really great opportunity so there's going to be two winners one of you will receive silver water and birch the other person will receive bourbon and oak so all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to the channel make sure you like the video and then leave a comment down below telling me that you want to be entered in the giveaway. And then of course, since Cremo is making this possible, I'm gonna leave links down below to their social media, like their Facebook, their Instagram, and their website. Go check them out, give them a follow, give them a like. Again, they're the ones hooking up this giveaway for you guys, so it would mean a lot to me and a lot to them if you go check out some of their stuff. Even if you don't win the giveaway, go check out their website, browse through the products. They have a lot of other great fragrances. They have some nice beard care, um, stuff like that. So. If you don't win, still worth going over there, picking some stuff up because they have some really nice products. So good luck in the giveaway, everyone. Let's go and jump into this review. I'm gonna start off with the first fragrance, Bourbon and Oak. What I get in the opening is a nice spicy, woody, and boozy scent. And these fragrances don't really change throughout the life of them. I get a lot of spice up top with a whiskey type of note. As you get further into the dry down, you get a nice soft woodiness from this fragrance. It comes across sweet and a little bit powdery. So for those of you who are into fragrances like that, you're gonna like this fragrance. As it settles down on your skin, it does soften up quite a bit and it also just turns a little bit powdery. Now I'm not saying it smells like a female's fragrance or anything like that or it smells feminine because it doesn't, but I do think this one could be unisex. If you are a woman and you want to wear this fragrance, I think you could pull it off and not have any issues doing so. So let's go and talk about when you can wear bourbon and oak. So this one is suited more for the fall and winter, obviously the cooler months. Like we're in right now, this fragrance is gonna be perfect for this season. Like I mentioned earlier, it's warm, it's spicy, it's sweet. This is the type of thing you wanna reach for when the weather starts to cool off. It has like an alluring, sexy type of vibe to it. It's a fragrance that's gonna draw people in and that's kind of what you're looking for typically in a cooler weather scent, something that's sweet, spicy, alluring, and that's what you get from this fragrance. In terms of situations like when you could wear this, I would honestly say just about anything. You could wear it to work, you could wear it um, dressed up slightly, you could wear it dressed down. I would say more likely than not, this one's gonna work for anything. If you wanted, you could wear this on a date because it is, again, alluring and sweet a little bit powdery it has you know kind of like a soft edge to where it could work on a date and like a intimate encounter or something like that i would say you really aren't limited on when you can wear this fragrance in the cooler months it's going to work for just about anything compliment factor on this one is going to be really solid as well again my girlfriend gave her rating on it her first impression earlier on in the video as when i did she liked it a lot and i think a lot of other people out there are going to like this on you as well it just smells really really nice and really high quality for the price that you're paying for this so let's go and touch on the performance of this fragrance longevity on my skin i'm getting on average about five to six hours maybe sometimes a little bit longer projection wise it does push out pretty strong within the first hour, hour and a half of me applying it. After that, it does start to wear a little bit closer to the skin. It doesn't turn into a full on skin scent or anything. It just stays within my personal bubble. So performance is very respectable in my opinion. And I don't think there's too much more you could ask for for fragrances at this price. They're very affordable. Some people would probably wish that it would last a little bit longer being that it is a cooler weather scent. And typically they do have stronger performance, but I'm not really knocking the fragrance here. You know, you weren't paying over $100 for this. This can be had very affordably, so at the end of the day, you can just apply more if you're having any issues with performance, but I get pretty decent performance overall. 
So to kind of sum it up here, I like bourbon and oak. I'm a big fan of this one. I'm going to be wearing it more this fall and this winter. Really well done scent here. It doesn't come across cheap smelling. The quality is nice. Again, it doesn't develop too much on my skin like or go through too many stages. But from the opening to the dry down, I'm very happy with it. And, you know, I think they did a great job here with this one. Let's go ahead and move on to the second and final fragrance I got from them. This one is Silver Water and Birch. So as you heard from my first impressions earlier on, this one reminds me a lot of Silver Mountain Water, just as I was expecting it to. And I'll be honest, going into it, I wasn't really too sure how close it was actually going to be to Silver Mountain Water. But when I smelled this for the first time, I mean, you saw my reaction live. I was very impressed. This stuff gets really close. So I'm going to run through kind of the scent breakdown here pretty quickly, even though most of you probably kind of know by now. This one opens up with this nice, like, watery, musky, aquatic type of accord mixing with some birch. It opens up with just a little bit of a hint of sweetness as well. To me, this one basically takes that silver water type of DNA and it kind of drops the inky note that a lot of people claim to get from it. As you work into the mid and dry down, some oak moss becomes present along with some other woods and that birch still leading the path. So it's nice and fresh and invigorating in the opening. You still do maintain that freshness throughout the life of the scent. Again, working into the dry down, you do get a little bit more woods and it does soften up a little bit more as well. So when can you wear silver mountain or silver water and birch? I keep mixing that up there. I keep wanting to call it Silver Mountain Water. When can you wear this fragrance? This one more suited for spring and summer. So when I was choosing the fragrances I wanted to try from them, I have wanted to try Silver Water and Birch for a long time now, even though it's kind of out of season. I still really wanted to get my nose on it. So that's why I picked Bourbon and Oak because that one is more of a fall appropriate scent. That's why I reviewed that one first and everything like that. But this one more spring and summer. So I guess if you live somewhere out there in the world where it's spring and summer like if you're in australia this fragrance this would work great for now um, but for us here where it is getting into the cooler weather not really going to be the best choice but nonetheless i still wanted to check it out so definitely a fresh fragrance no doubt about it really nice for spring and summer dressed down kind of casually you could dress it up if you wanted to although i probably wouldn't I'm sure you could get away with wearing this a little bit formally, but I would choose other fragrances, maybe from their line. They have some other bergamot and woody fragrances that would probably work better in the, dressed up in the summer. This one, I would say, is more relaxing, more like low-key, just kind of chilled out. Silver Mountain Water is one of my personal favorite calming fragrances, so something you know in the summer in the spring when i just want to wear something relaxing i'll go for that one this fragrance has the same vibe so for a chill casual day when i'm not really doing too much i'm not doing a lot of running around i'm just kind of taking it easy and relaxing this fragrance would work perfect for that so again mainly dressed down for the spring and summer but realistically you could probably wear it for just about any situation in the warmer months compliment factor on this one is going to be solid as well again you saw my girlfriend's first impression reaction to this one she liked this one also but not quite as much as bourbon and oak but this one is going to get you positive attention because it does smell clean and fresh people are really going to love smelling this one on you especially when it's warm outside and i should also mention that again this one is a cologne marketed for men but i do think it could be unisex as well as creed silver mountain water is listed as a unisex fragrance and i'm sure there are women out there who do wear that one i think this one can go in that direction as well so these are colognes but if you are a woman and you want to wear these because you like the smell of them i think you could easily pull it off but no need to worry about getting any negative reactions from this fragrance that's not going to happen it smells clean it smells fresh kind of just the same with bourbon and oak these fragrances were kind of designed to smell good to the masses right and these do that very well Let's go and touch on the performance of this fragrance. Longevity on my skin, I've gotten about the same as what I got from Bourbon and Oak, about five to six hours, maybe slightly longer on some days. It's kind of hard to track for sure, but yeah, about the same as the first fragrance. Projection on my skin, this one didn't quite push out as much as Bourbon and Oak. It's still projected, um, but it started to die down into my personal space quicker than what Bourbon and Oak did. So performance of this one may be slightly weaker than Bourbon and Oak, which is somewhat to be expected just because this one 
mostly fresh, has some lighter uh, scent molecules. Bourbon and oak is a little bit sweeter, a little bit heavier, so it has more depth to it and more punch to where it projects and lasts a little bit longer. But nonetheless, it's still not bad overall in terms of performance. Very respectable, and again, for the price, you can't really beat it. Especially because this smells very close to Silver Mountain Water by Creed, and honestly, that Creed performs about the same as this one. Maybe a little bit better, but not by much. So this is a great alternative to Creed Silver Mountain Water if you're looking to get something very similar to that scent without having to pay the Creed price tag. So guys, that is my thoughts on Cremo, Silver Water, and Birch, and Bourbon and Oak. So again, let me know down in the comments what you think of these fragrances if you've tried them or if you've tried other fragrances from their line. Let me know what you think of them down below. And again, don't forget about the giveaway. There's going to be two winners. One of you will get Silver Water and Birch in this brand new sealed box on 100 mil and the other person will get Bourbon and Oak. Again, sealed 100 mil bottle. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment that you want to be entered in the giveaway. And also since Cremo hooked us up with this giveaway, make sure to go give them some love on their social media platforms. I'll link to them down below their Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, along with their website. Go check out their website. Go browse through their fragrances. Go browse through their shaving products and stuff like that. They have some really, really nice offering. So definitely go check it out. Even if you don't win the giveaway, still worth heading over there and picking some stuff up because they have some really nice products. So guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all of that fun stuff to help out the channel. Again, make sure you go check out Cremo. All their links are going to be down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck in the giveaway. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.